What helped you there? Was it just the screens, or I guess what, what allowed you to get open and then obviously make those big shots? Uh, first of all, my teammates was, you know, helping me. And uh, Norris was setting great screens for me to uh, be open or create, so I was just focusing on trying to get a shot or create something for my teammates. And Keenan, I know, uh, obviously, I think it was about under 40 seconds. You went for a went for a drive. You got a little bit of contact. You made that shot. I guess what what was your uh, mentality going into that shot? And I guess how, how big was it for you to kind of to, to make that shot? Obviously, to get that separation for y'all. Um, just I was just trying to focus on on the rim. Um, you know, got in there. I was just kind of looking to see who was coming. And the end of the day, I just kind of finished it. So it was a good deal to get that little separation. I guess, Brandon, for you, I know you made a couple threes. I guess, what, when did you kind of feel like you were in, a, in an offensive rhythm? And I guess, what's that like to know that you were obviously on a roll kind of in that second half? And after that, I made the first one. I think Naeem found me in the corner and, you know, I was able to make the shot. After that, I just, you know, stick some confidence on myself. The coaches gave me some confidence down there. And, I'm, you know, I'm just ready to play, help my team win the game. Any questions for the players? Raise your hands. We'll get the microphone to you. Uh, I know, obviously, you guys have the patch for Zach. I guess how, how big of a win was this for for him? And obviously, you guys trying to obviously kind of win win some games without him right now. Uh, it's definitely big. Um, so proud of my teammates for you know stepping up into the roles, especially Brandon. You know, he stepped up big time today. And you know, whether or not you know Zach returns tomorrow or the next day, you know, we just we're just gonna you know keep working and play hardest. We're pretty much next man up. So you know, we're just trying to you know battle for him. <laughs> Kenyon, I know you mentioned you wanted to see how the freshman would bounce back. Uh, dur during a small period, you had a 7-0 run. They scored seven of those points. How, how big were they tonight for you? Oh, they were definitely big. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, like I said, I'm proud of the way they bounced back, um, the way they handled the pressure. Um, you know, we kind of got off to a rough patch in the first half, but we definitely bounced back in the second half and got more poise. So it was definitely a big deal for them to score those, you know, those seven points and you know, knock down some free throws to extend the lead. Brandon, what was it like to kind of see the fans rush the court and you guys kind of earned that? Oh, it was amazing. You know, the crowd was behind us the whole game. And, you know, it feels good, at, you know, playing in that kind of atmosphere out there. So, you know, thanks for them, you know, having our back to, throughout the entire game. It was, it was great. We'll go to Austin here in the back. Kitty, what did you see from Zaire starting in place of uh, Zach with his eight rebounds of what he did in the full court? Uh, Zaire was very active, um, whether it be coming over to block somebody's shot or rebounding. Um, I think he finished with about eight or nine rebounds. And you know, he was very active, and especially knocking down big free throws at the end of the game. So you know, he really stepped up and you know, took care of business. Stay in the back left with Phil. Kenan, how important was it for you guys to hit all the free throws that you did? Finish 24 and 28. <coughs> unbelievable at the line. Uh, it's a big deal, the amount of work we put in in free throws, whether it be games or you know, just getting into work on our own. And um, you know, it just helped us you know, pull out this vic victory. Any other questions for the players? Hey, Kenny, just kind of wanted to go more into to free throw shooting. You know, what are some of the things that you guys do to, to prepare for that? And, and, you know, what is it like to, to attempt them in a top 10 game? Um, like, I mean, as far as with the crowd, we have a crowd noise that we turn on and basically blaring in your ear. And, you know, we put people in pressure situations and, you know, we got to knock them down or, you know, get on the line, do push ups or run. So, and then after that, we just get in on our own with, uh, you know, manager, GA, or with each other, and just get some free throws up.